if she needs a little more, I'll help What's a little her. more? <laughs> couple thou. Couple thou. If they want to go up a couple thou, I will. So when is the big day, Elise? It's going to be in four months. Four months? Hey, I need help. I like it. I like it. Wow factor is still lacking. What? I need the tissues. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, tough time. Elise has big plans, but not enough time to turn them into a reality before her big day. Finding the dress of the day is not a little speed bump on the road to her destination. It is a mountain that she must climb before she can cross over into matrimony. It's do or die. It's today, bring home a dress or a no dress at all. My mother, Julia. I brought my friend, Hi. Brittany. Hi, I'm Brittany. And that's Hi, my friend, Brittany. Tasha. Tasha. Their opinion can sway me. So when is the big day, Elise? It's gonna be in four months. Four months? Very nervous. Okay, we're gonna have to find you something. Tell me what you're looking for. A mermaid saw, lots of tool. How do you envision Elise? Princes. Is there a price point that we want to respect? Um, I want to say under 10,000. I'm paying for the dress, so I feel I can give my opinion. This bride has come with a purse bursting with coin, and $10,000 is not a mean amount of money to be throwing at a dress. With that high a budget, this bride is bound to meet her true love in lace. But is it as simple as that? Apparently not. Randy is helping our stylist find Elise a dress of her choice. But it seems that Elise will have to loosen her purse strings a bit further to go home with a dress of her choice. A little bit of a challenge. Okay, what kind of challenge do we have? There is a dress that she is interested in. Oh, here it is. Oh, wow. Wow. Carry this for you. Thank you but so much. But I'm not much. taking responsibility for this. I know that it's over budget, but it is every single thing that she's asking for. Wait a minute. Okay, how much is this? I don't know. 15700 15, So I hear you're from Louisiana. Yes, nice Me day. too. It's a little steep. <laughs> I'd like to try it and see how it looks. Have fun, ladies. Um, yep. First. How much is it? Okay, $15,700. So, so it's going to be a stretch. The perfect little bling piece Randy has found on one of the racks is going to cost a neat penny. Though it is bound to make our bride's heart stutter, the barrage of disagreements coming her way are giving this bride heart palpitations. Randy is nothing if not a hero, and he's going to play the villain if he has to, in order to protect this bride's tiny little heart. This pretty pink thing is perfect in mom's eyes, but it's setting Elisa's teeth on edge. It is the complete antithesis of what this bride had wanted, and no amount of cajoling on the part of her family is going to change her mind on how she feels. The style on dress number three is exactly what this bride wants, but it is the opposite of mom's imaginary ball gown. Randy has a piece of sincere advice for this bride-to-be, and he's asking her to pick herself up off the floor and stop being the rug that she is trying to be. Fight or flight? This bride has to make a decision fast. Unfortunately, this bride is choosing to go back home rather than fight for her right, which is to find a dress that meets her fantasies and not her mom's. I hate it. Oh! I don't think I've ever heard anybody say that. I want the ball gown. I, I don't care for the mermaid. It doesn't do $15,000 worth on her to me. How do you feel with it on? Yeah. I like the dress a lot. I don't know how we're going to get everybody here on the same page. Right. She loves it. She hates it. She wants a ball game. No, I'm just, I'm, I don't know what their reaction is going to be. Top of the dress, the way it's made. I like the beading and the design. I like it. I like it. Wow factor is still lacking. What? I think it's your wedding, and you need to pick a dress that you love. I think you need to love the dress. I think I'm going to take the time and talk with them and okay. just see where should we go from here. I'm very panicked knowing that I'm leaving today without a dress. Number three beauty queen with a choosy gang. Been there, done that. Ashley is the lucky girl who has tried a million dresses as a pageant girl. She has ruled over the hearts of common folk, but now she only wants to rule over her own heart. Ashley wants to dress to please herself and Christiana is the stylist who is going to lead her through the meandering path to her dream dress. Hi, Hi, Ashley. Hi, Christiana. Nice to meet nice you. To Who are we here with? So this is my mom, Hi, Kathy. Mom. That's my pageant director, Rosanna. Rosanna. Pageant director. Nice to meet uh, you guys. This is my future nice mother-in-law, nice Patty. And that's my dad, Bernie. And You're yes. a pageant girl. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> Price-wise, where are you comfortable at? We want to stay around three. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. Well, I'm guessing you've tried on thousands of dresses. Yeah. Yes. Not bridal. Not really, but all of my competition gowns were always white. You guys have seen her in a, a lot, lot of, of stuff. Gowns. How do you picture the wedding gown? Money is not an issue for this American take on landed gentry. But finding a dress that can get Ashley's dead heart beating once again is a challenge made for warriors. Christiana has not cut her teeth by nibbling on cotton candy. Her fear has been much more deadlier, having fulfilled the dreams of brides who have come in all sizes and forms with personalities to match. 
but it seems her reservations were reserved in the wrong direction. This bride has not even climbed the stage and her family are giving her a definite no on her first choice for a wedding gown. Hi! Hey, beautiful, you want me to help you? Yeah, sure. What you got? How about white gowns? Only white. What? Yeah, so it's gonna be hard because she has to feel like a bride. She is a pageant girl. So she's had on lots of beautiful gowns. She's had on lots of beautiful gowns. This is really pretty, actually. Yeah, I think we should show them. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I got a little bit of a negative review when I walked up. <laughs> she literally, like, they saw her, they're like, I don't like it. Well, I thought you would get more beating up top or something. Pageant dad over here. They're already shaking their heads. No, 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 no. It's too plain. I don't like it at all. I value my mom's opinion a lot and she knows when it's when it's it. Her mom's like, let's go. Though this bride was nearly sold on dress number two, but the word pageant has soured the deal for her and she wants to try on some new dresses. I really like this. I know. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> there she is. Oh my god. Look at her face. So you went straight for the bling, right? <laughs> I did. I, I like this one. I think this gown could be the one. That but this is a possibility. Yeah. Do you like this dress better than all the other dresses you've tried on before? I don't know. I didn't want to do what was expected of me. This picky bride is not choosy at all, and it's the entourage which is giving the team a tough time. Dress number three has been rejected, and our bride has done a hat trick on getting her heart broken. But this bride has had enough, and she's finally putting her foot down. She has found the dress she wants accompanying her on her way down the aisle, and her family is just going to have to suck it up. This pageant queen is ready to leave her crown behind and don that veil like she was always born to do so. You look like a bride in this. You don't look like a pageant girl. I like, that's what I, I don't want to look like a pageant girl. And this, how do you feel? I feel really good, actually. Music to our ears. I love that. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, you got some bods. I would, I would definitely give you first place in this dress. <laughs> I love this one. <laughs> Mom, what do you think? Yeah. It really is not for her. I was almost about to say yes at that moment. The reason why I really like it is because one of the things that I really wanted was the drama, was drama. And I feel like this skirt is giving me the drama. I feel like a bride. I don't feel like a pageant girl. Okay. I haven't felt like this in a dress that we've tried on. I said, you know what? This is the dress. This is the one for her. Does it feel like then they put the crown on? <laughs> I then saw her. She just looks beautiful. She glows. You love it, and you happy? I'm happy, honey. I need the tissues. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I really do love it a lot. It's beyond, and I feel like I feel like a bride, and I feel like I can see myself walking down the aisle and everything. Are you saying yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 I said yes. yes. <laughs> Number two, Glam Queen. This bride has planned her big day to the last detail, and the only thing missing from heaven is a dress to match her expensive tastes. I am here for Lazaro. Oh, I awesome. only want a Lazaro gown. So you came on a perfect day. I really want something a little bit form-fitted. She has traipsed into this bridal salon with her heart set on a princess piece, complete with a big veil and a poofy skirt. The first dress she has tried on are fulfilling all of her expectations. She is all set to have her dream princess wedding and she is sold on the idea because of the beauty she is wearing with the confirmed consent of her entourage. Oh, Eric, <laughs> she come. This oh, is what you were dreaming oh. of. It's huge. The flowers are really pretty. Wait. True, I oh. can see you. Oh, oh, it's just... a statement piece. Oh. Oh. He's dying. He's so happy right now. You don't need to say. How do I I, I feel like it's just so big. I don't feel comfortable. You are snatched. It does. It's a snatched waist. It, it yes. does. I, I just, how do I sit? <laughs> I just think it's too big for me. Yeah, I feel like I'm, there's a distance between yeah. us. Yeah. Like, this is your day. Like, it's true. Just be grand. Yeah. I, mean, I do love it. <laughs> I knew. Keep going, Mom. I can't. So secret. <laughs> oh, yes. But fate has bigger things in store for her, and her putting on dress number two is purely by chance. Once she has it on, the powers of Providence would not be able to have it taken off. This beauty is the complete opposite of the first outfit. This princess has turned into a queen of funk, and it's all due to the gorgeous concoction she's wearing. This dress is a complete out-of-the-box work of art, inspired by a great Gatsby theme. This beauty is modern Mary Antoinette meets the roaring 20s and suits her body of a bride perfectly. I like wow. love this. Oh my. <laughs>
gosh. I feel like, like a Spanish princess. Mrs. Iglesias. Like, I'm kind of speechless too. I really wow. like wasn't sure about this on the rack and like seeing it on, I'm honestly like, wow. it's gorgeous. Yes. Oh my what God. What do you think? Stunning. Oh Gorgeous. my God. Right? Yeah. Oh my God, I like have the chills. <laughs> I like actually have the chills. Not everyone can pull this off and our bride rocks this look. It brings her a vintage look, but with a modern flair. The intricate details cut out on it scream 1920s glamour, and our beautiful bride has transformed into the glam queen she was born to be. Number 1. The bride is always right. Chantal was hoping for a miracle when she wandered in through the salon doors that she would find a dress from five years back waiting for her on the rack of this exclusive salon. This bridal salon has an exclusive reputation for a reason. Right at the top is its commitment to creating unique pieces instead of dated numbers. This new assistant is still in the process of learning the ropes, which is why Monty and Lori are giving her a wide berth and some extra leeway in how she's going to handle this client. So we did have this gown at one time. We did Do you have remember it? it? Yes, but Lori, that was five years ago. So her friend Jessica really wants to see her in a ball gown. A ball gown. <laughs> so she is big. Do you think you want to take it out and show the family? Um, no. They're allowing this newbie to spread her wings so that she can learn to fly. And their soft approach is designed to teach but not crush. Bottoms up on dress number two, and it fits our bride to a tee, figuratively and literally. Unfortunately, it's not sinking into this bride's heart, so it's back to the drawing board. I feel like I'm going to prom. It's pretty, no, but we're not going to prom. Yeah, I don't feel bridal in this. So take a look here at the wall and tell us if there's anything here that you want to try on. Oh, I like that. I think I do want to try that one on. You do? Dress number three is definitely the cut and style that had attracted the bride's attention and brought her to the salon in the first place. But the amount of skin showing through this beautiful lace is making her nervous. This dress has finally hit the spot for this bride and she has achieved nirvana. The beautiful lacy piece is hugging her curves in all the right places, feeling like tiny kisses all over her body and our bride is already in seventh heaven. Yes! That's pretty though. I like it. I think it's gorgeous. I love them. That's the first thing that caught my eye. And then I really like this lace. I really thought that I was going to come in here and get that dress that I saw. <laughs> so do you want to get jacked up? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. All right, open up. Oh, <laughs> I feel like a bride. <laughs> That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.